the alley fin is, you guessed it, an alevin imitation. Alevins are not all year round patterns. It's only a certain time of the year that they become important, but when they're important, they're essential. Doka Zichemko 777SP, size 10, and the working thread is good abroad, 80 in a white color. I'll just layer some thread, turn it back to close to the eye. The key feature for the Alevin is the yolk sac. Now there are a number of ways to simulate the yolk sac. Uh, some people use orange or red beads, some use some glow yarn. Uh, I'd like to show you a different technique here. I just take some synthetic dubbing. In this case it's Wopsy Craw Dub and the color is soft shell. It's a mixture of yellows and oranges and a bit of red. Now by just pulling, bringing it together, pulling apart, I'm aligning the fibers and eventually I'll have something that will resemble a yarn, a very loose yarn, like this, which I double to make a loop. I'll turn the hook over and tie in this loop. tightly and then remove the waist. And there it goes, point down again. The loop remains there until later. For the body I'll be using some uh, Oil Creek Crystal Braid in a peach color. I'll tie it down and then I keep it underneath the shank as I run the thread to the bend. I'm using white working thread as the finishing thread, which will be black, would show through too much. Just keep going until you get to the end of the shank, keeping the, the braid fairly taut. Till here. Now reverse and come back to near the eye of the hook. This white underbody will have a, a chance to bleed through. Next, it's simply wrapping a tight body that has a nice glisten to it. And then simply tie it off. With a couple of tight turns and a locking turn and then trim it away, turn the hook over and fold back the yolk sac. And fix it into place. So 
whip finish. Then we change over to the other thread. Simply start the black thread. Now build up a bit of a hard base. This fly will have a fairly prominent head, as does the natural. On top will come a two-part cover. I would like to call it a wing, except alevins don't have wings, of course. The first is just a few strands of grey llama mix, which is llama hair with some very fine flash added to it. Just, just tied in on top. It's just mere wisp. The length is about till here, so just make a rough ragged taggedy finish to them. On top of that will come a few barbs of bronze mallard just to the end of the bend. Like so. And then trim away the waist. Now cover it up. Build. A pronounced uh, black head. Way more turns of thread than on most of my flies. And then finish it off with a rip finish. That completes the fly. We just need to coat with some varnish. And I'll start with a, a thin coat. Just seal the thread completely. Later on, there'll be a second coat of some heavier varnish to complete the alley fin.